on the day Bush signed the ADA, uh, we convinced him that we should make it a great big celebration since there are so many people directly affected by the passage of the ADA. Well, it was a glorious day. July 26, 1990 was a clear blue sky, the sun was out, there were three or 4,000 people, many with disabilities and their families on the south lawn of the White House. And the president was on a platform with leaders of the disability community to sign the bill into law. I don't know how you describe the signing ceremony. We had people everywhere. They were on gurneys, white canes, wheelchairs, walkers, and seeing eye dogs. I mean, any device that helped people get around was represented that day. We covered the White House lawn for sure. The most people ever gathered on the White House lawn for a signing was July 26, 1990. Never been that many people there for a signing of a bill before. Biggest group ever in the history of this country. I had the pleasure and the real privilege to ride to the ADA signing ceremony with John McCain. So we drove right into the White House and then we walked outside and became part of the masses. The South Lawn was packed with people. All of them there I had worked and worked and worked to see the law pass. So it was a shining day and a shining moment. And I mean, history and the weather just cooperated in a way you don't see very often. I sat with Senator Kennedy in the 89th row back or something like that. And, you know, all the pomp and circumstance began and, and we were kibitzing with each other and kind of looking over the crowd and, <laughs> And Kennedy leaned over to me and he said, uh, Pat, I said, yes, Senator, uh, uh, I got a little problem here. And I said, what's that, Senator? He goes, uh, what happens if he reads the bill before he signs it? <laughs> I said, don't worry. I mean, the Senator knew that nobody really understood the impact of what this piece of legislation was gonna do. I now lift my pen to sign this American... And then the president act, ended say. his brief remarks with that clarion call, let the shameful wall... Let the shameful wall... Of exclusion... Of exclusion... Finally come tumbling down. Finally come tumbling down. And that sent a tremor through the entire crowd. Best moment was President Bush was there, he was signing the ADA, Evan Kemp was on one side, Sandy Perino was on the other side, and there was a priest, Reverend Wilkie, and he had no arms. So the president signs the legislation, and then he hands the pen, he hands the pen to Evan, hands the pen to Sandy, and then President Bush hands the pen to Reverend Wilkie with no arms. So he picks up his foot and grabs it with his toes. But like, it's the perfect moment right there. There was a lot of uh, pent up emotion and anticipation in that crowd. Uh, and when the president finally put his uh, signature on the bill, a great roar of approval went up. And it was extraordinarily special. And then the rest of the day was given over to celebration. A lot of folks who had put in years, decades, trying to reach the point that was achieved that day, uh, let their hair down and had a lot of fun. Just this feeling of, we did it. I mean, here we, we were, we haven't been told for so long how powerless we were, and here we were with the President of the United States signing this document that was our Emancipation Proclamation, essentially. It was just a fantastic feeling. It was one of the most electric moments in time. It was like we were transported to another place. We were 20 feet off the ground. 3,000 people were 20 feet off the ground. It was like a tremendous party. A very controlled, I mean, love, respect, joy, a 
accomplishment, satisfaction. Our time had come. We finally, we finally were recognized as citizens of the world. I just thought of how much my brother had been discriminated against all his life because of his disability. When you see something like this and you see the president signing, that goes through your head. You think about this. You think, well, maybe this isn't in time to help my brother. But you think about how many other people won't have to go through that, you know, because of this. I just thought, you know, gee, this is, is something that I think is going to unleash a lot of people with disabilities in this country to do things that they never thought they could do before. I had the sense that the moment was one that I would never forget, that there was a ceremony, and the ceremony was very important, but the moment was much more than that. The, the moment was a recognition of the rights and abilities of people with disabilities, a recognition of respect for people with disabilities, a recognition of the end of discrimination against people with disabilities. And that, the spirit of that, the, uh, the feeling, the whole crowd, was that uh, in American Sign Language, there's a sign for that, and the sign is, it's, uh, it's called pa, pa. That's how you, you, you make a sound when you sign it, pa. And that's, that was a pa day. That was the, the day that you guys saw us as your peers and not as someone who needed your help.